Thank you for visiting Audio Nation University. Um, today is a tutorial on a personal problem I had um, with loading my Reason. My uh, window shut down in the middle of a session with Pro Tools and Reason was rewired. And uh, now I, I had a problem with getting uh, Reason back. So when um, you start up Reason, and you get this error. This is a uh, bad format. Reinstalling the application does not help. Um, the problem is this particular user um, preferences are messed up and that's what's causing the error. So the first thing you need to do is um, tell the um, operating system that you want to view your um, hidden folders because you're going to have to go into a hidden folder. So open up a window, uh, go to organize, go down to folder and search options and go to view and down here you need to check where it says show hidden files and folders as a default windows installs with don't show hidden files because uh, you can really mess something up if you go into the wrong file and delete the wrong thing but um, in this case you want to show your hidden files and folders click apply click OK now we're going to navigate to where the bad preferences are um, you go to your C drive or wherever the application is installed on your computer um, you'll go down to users, then you'll go into the particular user um, that's having the problem because you could actually go into another user and load up the file that was suggested to my girlfriend, so we need to put that in there. So make sure she gets credit for helping with this issue. Um, but um, it's my user profile that's messed up, so I'll go into mine. Now you'll see a folder that says app data. If you don't see this folder, um, you skipped over the previous step. You have to make sure that Windows shows you your hidden files because this app data folder is a hidden file. So um, you double click that. You'll go into roaming. Then you'll go down to the propeller head software folder. You go to reason. And in theory, you can delete one, try to load it, delete another one, try to load it until the app loads, but um, that's a little time consuming. So the easiest way, and, and be cautioned that when you delete this, your um, navigation bar in Reason um, will be empty, so you have to place your sound library folders back into that um, uh, quick launch in Reason. But for uh, this tutorial, we're just gonna delete all these. Click yes. Now, um, when the app loads, it'll be like um, your first installation of Reason. I know it's a hassle, but um, if it, it, your Reason files are still there, so it's just a matter of navigating to things. It's going to go through the um, setup process. Um, I won't go through that tutorial right now, but um, in a later tutorial, I'll do um, setting up Reason, um, setting up your sound card, and uh, setting up your um, MIDI devices. You can do an auto detect and um, I know mine doesn't pop up. For some reason, my key rig 9049 doesn't show up. So we'll go to next and I'll just hit find. I'll hit a key on my keyboard. That's the one I want to use. And click next and it'll ask you, you can just check I've already registered. And your reason, um, will be back to the way it was, or at least when it was, when you installed the app for the first time. But uh, your songs are still there, you just have to load them back in or navigate.